Hey guys, I thought I would show you one of the most important parts of pinstriping and how to get a good consistent line. I'm taking a little bit of reducer here, uh, alpha sol high temp, it's really hot here in the studio. Give yourself a little bit of that. Make sure that your brush is clean. It's very important to clean your brush after each use and put some brush preservative on it. So what some, what some of them don't tell you is that this is, I believe, to be the most important part of pinstriping. So I showed you in the last video how to trim your brush after your brush is trimmed. What I'm going to show you now is how to palette. Okay, relatively dry brush right now. Well, that's really dry. Okay, tap that into your paint. Flipping it, drag it through the paint. What we're doing right here is we're training the paint to flow off of that brush evenly. Now, so that's part of it, right? Part of it is dragging it through that paint. The other really important part is getting the paint the right consistency. That's why we have two different types of reducer, hot and cold. Depending on the temperature outside, if it's really hot outside and you use a, a quick low temp reducer, it'll make your paint harden up and dry up real quick. We don't want that. We want this to flow really nice. Now out of the can or out of our bottles, this paint is pretty good. It's the temperature outside or excuse me in here in the studio and the consistency of the paint right from the bottle is pretty good. What we're looking for is smooth. It's a smooth buttery feeling as if you're dragging it over a warm stick of butter. You have to do this every time you go back to the palette, back and forth. You don't have to do it for this long. Once the brush is loaded, you're ready to stripe. Now let me show you how much is too much. Well, let me show you how much is too little first. Okay, when I say too little, I guess what I'm trying to say is I say too little because I mean too little reducer to where it, it really feels like you're dragging against the surface. If you're pulling and you can feel that tug really hard, you don't have enough reducer in that paint. Now let's see what too much reducer does here. Okay. You can see this, it's real sloppy. That's something we want to stay away from. You can see, you have no control. Look at it drip off the brush like that. I'll have no control over my lines with that kind of paint mixture. Again, we want to end up more. So this paint right here is really, really loose. It's too thin. So again, we want to end up with more of a, there's going to be a slight drag across your palette when the paint consistency is right, but it's not gonna be sliding right over it and it's not gonna be sticking real hard. Let me see if I can get you properly loaded. That's a properly loaded brush here. You can see here there's a, there's a little bit more paint up here, but there's still a lot of paint back here ready to come off that brush. And like I said, we've been training that paint to come off those hairs evenly and consistently.